Welcome to Neurodiversipedia, where we explain all those big, complicated words pertaining to neurodiversity in ways that everybody can understand. If you tell your kid an instruction, like get ready for bed, and then you leave, do they do it? Do they have a hard time remembering what getting ready for bed even means? They might struggle with something called working memory. So what's the difference between short-term memory and working memory anyway? Well, if you think of short-term memory like maybe taking information from the top shelf and bringing it down to the bottom shelf, really uh, accessible for you to grab at any time, working memory would be the process of actually grabbing it off the shelf and using it. So for example, working memory is when you hear the directions to, to a place, like maybe you tell a kid in the classroom, hey, the bathroom is right around the corner. That child can remember that you said that about five minutes ago, and that's the short-term memory working. But working memory would be them getting up and going and actively using that information to find the bathroom. So what are the signs that your child is having a hard time with working memory? Well, if they can't really recall directions very well, or maybe they can recall it, but halfway through the activity, they forget what they're doing, that's definitely a sign. Another one might be they interrupt someone in a conversation because they aren't actively using their listening skills. Another sign might be if they're doing an activity and they're making really obvious mistakes, but they just don't notice, it could be that they're having a hard time with working memory. So how can you help your child with working memory? Well, you can break down tasks into small bite-sized chunks. Visual schedules are a great option for this. It helps them with a timer and a visual, remember what they're doing in the moment. So it's like basically taking the bedtime routine that you told them that they forgot to actually continue doing and breaking it into tasks like brush your teeth, uh, put your pajamas on, and there can be a timer running for every step. So if they forget what they're supposed to be doing in the moment, they can just look and say, oh, I'm supposed to be brushing my teeth right now. One other tactic to improve working memory in your child would be to play memory games with them. Did that help you understand the term? If yes, give us a thumbs up or subscribe below. If it didn't, then leave us a comment and tell us why. What are we missing? We always want to do better. This is a project by Goalie. Check us out at getgoalie.com.